We all want to be smart when it comes to the food we eat and the things that we drink, but what if I told you there may be a product that can actually do the thinking for you? Today on Tomorrow Life, we're going to show you the Smart Cup and how it not only tracks the proteins, calories, and caffeine you consume, but breaks it down at the molecular level too. Counting calories is the way many of us try to watch what and how we eat, but you have to admit that sandwich just isn't as tasty without the sauce. Coming up, we show you five calorie-saving food swaps to help cut back those numbers. I think you will probably agree that this guy needs to watch his numbers, or at least his owner does. Meet Big E. He weighs four times more than the average cat, but believe it or not, his weight is not the biggest danger. You're going to find out what other concerns his veterinarian has for him. And while we're talking pets, this is Bear. He's looking to get adopted, and he's also looking to set a world record. Coming up, I'll tell you how you can get involved in that world record attempt. What if I told you someone had a guaranteed formula for success? Well, this woman believes she does. Find out why you'll need to strap on some ice skates to see just how it works. Plus, this woman has been in charge for most of her life. She tells us how she did it and gives us some words of advice as to what not to do. And speaking of words, did you know the average time to read a resume is just six seconds? So needless to say, you want to make sure yours stands out and quickly. We run down the do's and don'ts of resume catchphrases. Would you say that today was a productive or an unproductive day at the office? Well, if you answered unproductive, did you know it could be costing you a promotion? We're going to show you some ways experts say you can stay focused. One guy who's focused on his career is this guy, six-time wrestling champ Chris Jericho. Today we talk with the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla about his multiple nicknames, who he really is out of the ring, and why he's decided to pin his entertainment experiences and share them with you. And the entertainment doesn't stop there. The Beatles tribute band, The British Invasion Experience, is in the house to rock us into the weekend. Del Marble Live starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopple. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. And we'd like to welcome our studio audience. Thanks for joining us you guys this afternoon. In. We've already warned them we'd pull out the bouncers if we had to, so they're going <laughs> to try to stay calm today. Yeah, Got a yeah. good show lined up for them, though. Absolutely. By the way, I want to remind you, uh, Saturday night, tomorrow night, WBOC is going to bring you the final televised gubernatorial debate in Maryland between candidates Larry Hogan and Anthony Brown. We are teaming up with WBAL-TV in Baltimore and uh, WHAG in Hagerstown. The debate airs statewide. Join us tomorrow night, Saturday night, 8 o'clock, right here on WBOC. Well, the 2014 Southern Delaware Heart Walk kicks off tomorrow in Georgetown and next Saturday in Dover. This inspirational field day is, uh, has energy, excitement, and of course, hope. It's designed to promote physical activity and heart healthy living. You know, heart disease is the country's number one killer. Stroke is number four. So participation in the Heart Walk is hopefully going to help change those numbers. The 2014 Southern Delaware Heart Walk is tomorrow at 8 a.m. at the Delaware Technical Community College Owens Campus in Georgetown. And then next Saturday, it's at the Delaware Technical Community College Terry Campus. There you go. There's what you need to know. Um, are you a, a big NASCAR fan? If, you're, if you are, if you're a big NASCAR fan, you know who King Richard is. Oh, you yeah. probably remember when the legend joined us on Delmarva Life. Um, he's back in Caroline County coming up on Sunday. Uh, take a look at the picture here that we've got from a couple of years ago when the Ridgely Car Show donated over $20,000 to the Petty Family Foundation. This is going to be the fourth year of the Ridgely Pharmacy and Ice Cream Parlor Car and Motorcycle Show. It's scheduled from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's going to be on Sunday. There's going to be more than 90 trophies, including some unique trophies for specific classes. Wow. Go out there and have fun. Yeah, sounds like a good time. You know, it's only, what, October, but it's already time to start thinking about college, especially if you're a senior. And if you're looking at college, now's the time to enroll in Delaware. During College Application Month through November 21st, Delaware colleges will waive application fees for in-state students. Delaware Tech and Wilmington University have waived fees for students participating in the program for two years and will be joined this year by the University of Delaware and Dell State University. Of course, college is an important thing because with that, you can build a greater paycheck yes. for yourself when you get your job. Okay, let's talk about jobs for a second. Uh, on today's show, we're talking about mm -hmm. jobs and what to put on your resume to increase your chance of getting a job. If you're looking for a job, the ninth annual fall job fair in Salisbury is Thursday. 
The Salisbury Chamber of Commerce is sponsoring the event. 40 employers expected to attend and will be hiring for a wide range of positions. Job fair, Thursday, October 23rd, 3.30 to 7 o'clock in the evening at the Center at Salisbury. So stop by. Yeah, that's happening next Thursday. Something else that is happening next Thursday, and what a treat it is. The Vienna Boys Choir, one of the oh, oldest wow. boys choirs in the world, is actually coming to Salisbury. The group will be performing Thursday, October 23rd, 7 p.m. at Holloway Hall in Salisbury University. Tickets are free, but required. I guess you could say the historic Vienna Boys Choir. Well, I guess so. Amazing. Now, if you are a fan of history in the Federalsburg area, here's a film you don't want to miss. The Federalsburg Historical Society is going to show a 25-minute documentary titled The Voices of Indian Town. That's going to be at the Federalsburg Area Heritage Museum. Produced by the Nanticoke Historic Pr uh, Preservation Alliance, the film's going to relate the memories of sharecroppers' children growing up in the Indian Town area of Dorchester County. No admission charge, but... Any of the following items would be welcomed by the Federalsburg Bountiful Harvest Food Center. Family sized peanut butter, jelly, spaghetti sauce, tuna fish, pancake mix and syrup. To find out more about the October 29th showing, all you have to do is call Carol Shaw at 410-253-5324. Sounds very interesting. Now, do you know what's more fun than a barrel of monkeys? You? No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I asked for that. Uh, one monkey. One monkey that likes to Irritate the cat. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And a cat that just really doesn't want to be irritated. <laughs> so the cat turns his back. The monkey says, ah, no, that's not going to work. Hey, now that I got your attention, look at this. <laughs> want to play with my tail? Here, I, look, I got one just like yours. <laughs> look at my tail. <laughs> Get off the couch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that was great. I just love animals. And I tell you what, we have plenty of animals on today's show. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, Sean Stryker will introduce us to a little kitten named Monkey, appropriately <laughs> enough, and many, many more adorable faces that could be yours in today's Pet Connect. Now, we're also going to hear the story of a fat cat who is four times the weight of a normal cat, and that is not his only health concern. Why this big guy getting active is so important. Well, one way women are choosing to get active, ice skating. Up next, how it's not only impacting these ladies' fitness, but their overall well-being. One woman who is certainly doing well, one of the country's top businesswomen. We're going to find out her secret to success next. And the way to get a great job? A great resume. We'll hear the do's and don'ts to resume writing in today's job market. What sets you apart and maybe what to keep out. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 